What's going on Guardians? Parade is here, back with another Destiny video, and today I'm going to be talking about new armor that's been added to the Destiny database in Update 2.0. So Update 2.0 was released last night for us Irish people in UK time, 6pm. Um, I got on, played a bit of Rift, done a bit of new new character Let's Play with Nephilim on Twitch. Um, with a new character, I like the new Ghost. I like the new updates, really good stuff, it flipping rocks, it feels like a whole new game, which sounds a bit strange. Nolan North's voice over is pretty good, it's all good stuff. Anyway, let's dive into some new exotic armors here. I will start with the Titan, I'll give a list of armor, and then I'll give a list of armor for all classes, and then perks that have been confirmed so far. So for the Titan, we have the Twilight Garrison Helmet. The Tychonaut helmet, the Empyrean Bellicose helmet, the Immolation Fists gauntlets, the Sagamizer gauntlets, Dune Marchers boots. Uh, in this, we also have exotic marks. These include Mark of the Executor for New Monarchy, Mark of the Circle, for Future Warcold, and Mark of the Oblivion for Dead Orbit. Now, these marks for certain factions won't come with any perks. It's been speculated upon that they will have intellect, discipline, or strength stats to boost. And they have a neat little thing that doesn't affect any other exotic armor pieces that you're wearing, so you can wear them without affecting a different armor piece. Exotic. So that's good. Hunters. Hunters get the ATS-8 Tarantella. The chess piece. The Shinobu's Vow. Gauntlets. The sealed Ahamkara Grasps. Gauntlets. The Graviton Forfeit Helmet, Skyburner's Annex Helmet, and the Frost E5 Boots. Their marks are called the Cloak of Oblivion for Dead Orbit, Cloak of the Rising New Monarchy, Chaos Cloak Future Warcold. And finally, Warlock Exotics include the Alchemist's Raiment, the Impossible Machines, their gauntlets, the Alchemist's Raiment, apologies, is a chess piece. The Ophidian Aspects, they are gauntlets, the Stag Helmet, the Astrocyte Verse Helmet, and the Transversive Steps Boots. Their marks include the Circle of War, Future Warcold, the Age to Come, New Monarchy, Light Beyond, Dead Orbit. So that's the list of some that's the list of armors. Some of the perks have yet to be verified and do not show up on Destiny database Target just yet, eliminated. but I will go through the main perks for each. Guardian. Twilight Garrison Chest gets a evade maneuver while airborne. It says to press something, the button is not quite confirmed yet. Um, but an evasion maneuver in midair I can't see being very useful, unless it's substantial and a substantial evade, I can't, I can't see it being helpful. I really can't. It doesn't, um, it wouldn't appeal to me anyway. I don't know what purpose evading in midair would serve anybody. And it is literally in midair. It says wild airborne. Um, the Tychonaut helmet's not bad. Uh, all rocket launchers gain tracking. Radar remains active while aiming down sight with heavies. And heavy ammo drops more often using while using a rocket launcher. So, uh, I, I like I like the first the first part of the perk. Um, if you have a rocket launcher that doesn't have tracking, it will have tracking. So you can have nades and horseshoes and tracking, so we kind of like truth. Tomorrow's answer is the one I'm mainly looking at, because it's got high blast radius, high velocity with um, javelin, and nades and horseshoes and tripod. So that's basically a legendary truth rocket launcher without the aggressive truth seeker prototype. But tracking is tracking. Um, I know you can do some ridiculously crazy trick shots with truth, but uh, that's interesting. Very interesting. Um, the perk for the radar while aiming down sight doesn't seem to be too significant. I mean, why would you want to be aiming down? Like, you don't. Un unless you're hard scoping, and I don't see why you'd hard scope with a rocket launcher. Might be handy for heavy machine guns. It says heavies, it doesn't say rocket launchers, so. And heavy ammo drops more often using a rocket launcher, which is kind of cool. I can get that. That's it's a nice bit of synergy there. You pop some fucking fools and get some more heavy. You know, apologies for the language. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
But I don't see it being a substantial heavy ammo drop more often because Rune Wings said it'd drop heavy ammo more often, and that was, in my opinion, made no difference. It still seemed completely random. Ah, the Imperian Bellicose Helm. I hope I'm pronouncing these right. Aiming weapons downside in the air will hold you in place for a short time, and orbs collected while your super is full will recharge your melee ability. Uh, these, these, a lot of these exotic armors and stuff seem to have a little bit of a, um, a poignancy on holding onto your super, which I'm not really, I'm not 100% about. I don't like holding onto my super. If I'm going to use my super, I'm going to use it, you know. Uh, it's like Bungie wants you to keep it. Keep your super. You get stuff with your exotic armors and... Yeah! And I, it's like, no, I just want to use Stonecaller and fry people like Emperor Palpatine, you know? I just want to kill people. So, I don't know. I don't know about all these pucks to hold on to my super. It's It seems silly. Um, immolation Fists, the gauntlets. Unlocks the Sunbreaker Pi... The, the Sunbreaker subclass node Explosive Pyre for free. All enemies brought down by your hammer explode, chaining fiery damage to other enemies. Now this I like. This I like. Anything that gives you a subclass node for free is a very useful piece of armor. Very useful. Um, I can't see anything wrong with this. This is fantastic. I mean, you get Explosive Pyre, frees you up for another perk on the same tree. Brilliant. Uh, I love it. Um, Tagamizers... Fist of Havoc kills, recharge your melee, and melee kills, recharge your Fist of Havoc. I like these. Oh, and gain an additional melee charge, which is nice. Um, very nice, actually. Uh, because if you use the perk for strikers that has a chance to instantly recharge your melee... Excuse me, I'm actually going to check my PlayStation because I'm online. Um, overload. Use this with Overload. You won't have a chance to instantly recharge your melee. Hit another one. Kill another guy with your melee. Charge your Fist of Havoc. Smash somebody with Fist of Havoc. Charge your melee. Very nice synergy. I like it. I like it. Nice. Could be could be very useful in conjunction with Monte Carlo. There's some Warlock gauntlets and pieces that can be used in conjunction with Monte Carlo as well. As well as some perks. Now the next one. Boots. I am sorry, but people are not mad about exotic boots for the silly perks that they have, but I was a serious fan of Radiant Dance Machines on Hunters with Mighty Multi-Tool. I have to say, I was a serious fan. And these, these look like they could make me play um, Titans more often. The Dune Marcher Boots. Their main perk. Increased sprint speed, extended slide distance, increased movement speed while aiming down sight, and tighter turn radius while sprinting. Fuck yes. These would be very nice. I am very sorry to say, and people may disagree with me, but I think these are going to be a fantastic pair of boots. PvP? Oh, the possibilities, they're endless. Shoulder charge, you know? You're weaving around, trying to get sprinting in between doorways and hallways with shoulder charge, you get a nicer turning circle. Boom! You smash somebody open, I love it. I love this, I love these boots. These boots could be brilliant. Any and faster movement speed while aiming down sight as well. Increased sprint speed, extended slide, slide distance. All, all very good. And very good for competitive. Sliding for most PvP players is essential. Um, hunters. The ATS forward slash 8 Tarantella. The chest piece, it takes reduced arc damage from Minions of Darkness. Arc grenades and arc blade recharge faster. I like the last part of this perk, and the first part could be helpful in nightfalls with arc burn. Um, Heavy ammo it's on the uh, mediocre at best. It's like the ATS-8 arachnid helmet. Um, Shinobu's vow gauntlets improve skip grenades, gain an additional skip grenade. How much the improvement available. is remains to be seen. I cannot see it living up to nothing manacles though. Those scatter gren track and scatter grenades were little Jihon grenades, as the whole community knows, and I can't see skip grenades doing the same type of thing, um, unless the improvement is a vast improvement. Sealed Ahamkara's Grasps. Gain an additional melee charge. Melee damage has a chance to refill your primary weapon. These might be okay in PvP. This might be interesting. Two blink strikes could be very good. I doubt it will give a third throne knife if you have two on already. 
Uh, refill ammo thing seems like a gamble, and to be honest, I'm not a gambling man, so I don't like it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about them. Um, the Graviton Forfeit Helm. Gained a Night Stalker subclass node, Shade Step, for free. I like this. Um, this is all the only perk it has on this, which is kind of odd. But I like it. It's a nice looking helmet, and the perk is okay, I suppose. It frees up to use a different perk on the tree, like the the Titan Exotic. Um, Skyburner's Annex Helm. I'm not... I don't know what to think of this. I've read this a couple of times, and it seems strange. Heavy weapon kills have a chance to spawn orbs. Super. That's that's perfect. We like that. We like that on the Titan, the Defender Titans. It's it's a nice it's a nice perk to have. Orbs collected when your super is full have a chance to grant special ammo. No, I don't. I don't see why special ammo. Why why shouldn't it have been a which should have not have been heavy? But anything that spawns orbs though is good. It's good for the soul, you know. So now the thrust thrust EE five boots. Tighter turn radius while sprinting, increased grenade and melee charge while sprinting. I, l I like the sound of these for some strange reason. I don't have no idea why, but I do. I I'm just a fan of boots, man. I'm actually a fan of boots. Um. Now the warlocks. We are nearly done. I do apologize. This is a long video. Um, we're nearly done. The <coughs> alchemist's raiment chest. Chance to gain glimmer on primary ammo pickup. Orbs picked up while your super is fully recharged. Orbs picked up when your super is fully recharged. When your super is full, recharge your grenade and melee. I apologize. Oh, my writing is terrible. Um, I like this with the new perks for having grenade and melee charges on Stormcaller and all the synergy perks that we can use with it. I'm not going to go too detailed because I'm a bit of a warlock head and I could be here all night. But um, I like this. There's a lot of stuff we could be messing around with with the Stormcaller. The Impossible Machines, Gauntlets. These unlock the node Landfall for free. On casting Storm Trance, fire a bolt of lightning into the ground, creating a devastating shockwave under you. I like this, it frees up nodes to be used elsewhere, as the same with the Titan and the War and uh, Hunter um, pieces. The, uh, these ones, these, these. I don't know about these, I like these. Uh, this is very simple, but I like them. The Ophidian Aspect, Gauntlets. Improved siphon for your void melee, and weapon weapons ready and reload very quickly, Heavy very quickly. Bound. Now, how much is very is, remains to be seen, but I like that because uh, that's a perk that's on blade dancers, and that weapon ready perk is actually pretty good. I use Heavy it a lot. I run a very unusual arc blade um, loadout, to be honest. Um, but that's one I use all the time. I like having my weapons ready straight away. The minute I swap, I want to bang down the side. Uh, helmets. The stag helmet. I like this, and I like the look of it. This is the one we've seen in the trailer. Big horns sticking out of the top. Once per life, your super recharges faster when your team is dead. You also have a chance to respawn with an overshield. Now this could be very useful in Trolls of Osiris. Um, Radiance, uh, Fireborn Radiance, bring yourself back to life. You could respawn with a soup with a, uh, an overshield. No, I don't know if that works with that, but that's I don't see why not. It doesn't say any otherwise. Um, yeah, it could be pretty useful in Trials of Osiris. Uh, very useful, actually. Uh, next helmet, the Astrocyte Verse Helm. Reduces blink cooldown and increases travel distance. This could be useful, but compared to the other exotics, I can't, I, I can't see people using it. And very first, warlock exotic legs, and they suck. Transversive steps, faster movement while crouched. Really, really, while crouched. Now, like, it remains to be seen how fast the movement's going to be while crouched. I mean, will I be moving at the same speed I move when I'm walking while I'm crouched? Because then, that's pretty fucking good. But, 
It would want to be significantly faster movement while crouched, because otherwise it's, that just sucks. That sucks, man. Like, come on, Bungie. You couldn't have just gave us the faster movement while aiming down sight as well, us warlocks. I know we have some really nice bloody exotics, but it would give us some more nice exotics to use, considering this is our first pair of exotic boots to be getting. And I'll lack of my boots. Ah, and the other little crappy bit on the end of the park. Picking up ammo automatically reloads the matching weapon type. Wow! I am very sorry, but they just are absolutely poo. And they get a 5 star rating in. Really? 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 Anyway, guys, that's all the exotic armor pieces that have been added to Destiny's database that I've seen. Anyway, unless there were some hidden ones, but that's all I saw. Um, I will put up a video for exotic weapons. It won't be as long, so you needn't worry. We're going on 16 minutes now, which is a long time to have for a video, but uh, it's, a, it's an informative video. I was going to do a patch notes update for 2.0, but man, oh man, there's a lot to go through. That, that video will take about half an hour. So what I will do is I will leave a description to Bungie.net and the patch notes on the description box below. And as always guys, thanks very much for dropping by. Like, follow, or like, comment and subscribe. I keep saying follow, I'm, I'm on Twitter at the moment and I'm trying to get people to follow my Twitter page as well. You can follow me on Twitter too guys if you like. But uh, like, comment and subscribe, let me know what you think. Please drop a comment guys, I'm, uh, I have been getting some nice views so I am... I am I'm genuinely uh, taken back, like I, I put a video up the other day and I got about 26 views in the first half hour which was great, but then it just stopped. So I really need to publicize myself a bit more, that's why I've been on Twitter, I've been hyping myself up, trying to get people to come in and watch, but for the guys who have watched, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for stopping by and thank you for watching, and see you all next time guys. Peace.